what's up my favorite people my shining stars i hope you're shining bright not letting anybody dim that light my name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel all about the healing but my ties has been rocking with me from the beginning of my time What's up? What's up? What's up? I love you guys. Thank you for your love and your support. To my new subscribers. For my energy exchange. What you sow on this channel, you shall reap. So thank you so much for those of you that have continued to support. Those of you that have been sending tips, super thanks, everything. Thank you. you. 10, 20, 100 fold right back at you. It is so, so be it. On the flip side, for those of you that's been rocking with me, right? Because you're still rocking with me. Rocking with me to find out if your black magic worked. To find out if I'm low, if I'm depressed, woe is me. Uh, 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 she single. Is she single? Is she? Is she? Is she? What's going on with her? Uh, let me do this. Let me do that. Let me watch her her channel count. Let me see what's going on. Just know. Just know that I am fully persuaded, determined. No matter what you do, say, conjure up. No matter what deal you make. I'm fully persuaded, fully persuaded and determined that I will be who and what I want to be. You don't dictate nothing up in here. I'm my own person. I have my own goals, dreams, and ambitions. And if I have to do all of this by myself, I'm cool with that. I ain't looking for nobody. I ain't boo-hoo crying over nobody because I'm over that. That's my past. My present, if I got to do it with me, the universe, my angels, you can't take that away from me. I'm free. I'm not bound to anyone. I'm not looking for anyone. I, friends, my soul family, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to find. My soul family. And I'm finding them. They're here, and it's my time, and I'm shining, and it ain't going to be nothing that you can do about that. You can't take my soul family away from me. So, just know that your black magic, your evil eye, everything that you're trying to do, all you're doing is exerting your own self. All you're doing is hurting your own self, and all you're doing is digging your own grave. For what? Because at the end of the day, my determination will always beat out your intention bam and there it is all right so without or with all of that said it is so so be it and ah shay we are honored to sign of libra bam there it is libra all right so i was doing the pre-shuffle and spirit was telling me to go ahead and write what was coming to me so for yours libra you have you have cut somebody off um this could be for libra or whoever cross watcher whoever somebody in the dynamic cut somebody off that is a narcissist they have a narcissist personality you can never change a narcissist that is who they are they will have to change and do, do significant change in their mindset way of thinking for that to change you'll never change this person so you cut them off you walk away from them you serve the tie you cut the cord you moved on this person is in a lot of pain a lot of pain over this cutoff because we already know we already have established that uh narcissists uh dark empaths um people of lower vibration do not value what what a light worker or what a um a energy 
uh, uh, energy worker. Uh, they don't value what you value. They don't find out that there is something better until you come along. But this person is in pain and they're suffering because of this cutoff. When you cut the cord, they felt that. When you cut the cord, this person cannot feel, this person cannot uh, even try to harvest your energy. They can't because the cord has been cut. There is nothing, it's nothing that's feeding this cord. There's nothing attached to it. So it can't. This person can do as much magic as they want conjuring up people and all this kind of conjuring up demons and you know working with people for your downfall but at the end of the day the cord has been cut and has been cut by Archangel Michael this person is very is down in the dumps uh, this person is full of doubts and uh, second guessing themselves so they, they are in a double mind uh, to, of two minds about you your relationship, whether it's a friendship, a lover, friends with benefits, co-worker, a relationship doesn't mean it has to be romantic. This could be a family relationship. But somebody you've cut off, you're not dealing with, is come is here in your energy field or is something going on here. That was what, what was in your pre-shuffle. Okay. So the overall energy for your reading, however, is coffee cup. Okay, somebody want to meet up with you lightheartedly because they already know that, um, yeah, because the other cards, this is this is p probably piggybacking off of what I just said in the pre-shuffle, pre that this particular person, you are no longer in... Uh, talking to this person you are no longer giving your energy your time your effort you're not focused on this person you have tr truly let this person go um, and you have moved on however there is someone that is fighting fighting for your attention fighting even though you have cut the cord and they can't get you energetically that way the way they used to be able to get they're trying to do astral travel. They're trying to contact you in your dreams. They're trying to contact you through music energetically. They're trying to find other ways of other avenues to come to you. However, the people that I'm talking to, because I'm talking to a selected few, the people that I am talking to, that this energy right here is a, are people who have learned how to protect themselves from this individual this is not an individual that you just met this is not an individual that you um just all of a sudden cut off or all of a sudden just you know this is someone that you had to go through the fire you had to transform you had to go through hell and high water to get away from this person you had to, it took you everything to cut the cord this person is very strong very powerful very uh, determined just like you are determined however there's a mismatch because your determ your determination and where you going is of a higher frequency for the simple fact you have a mission. You have things that you have to do. You don't have time to be tied up, stuck, and stuck, confused, and bewildered about what this person got going on. Because this particular person is a person that is hiding, that's um, that's wearing a mask, that's false, that's pretending to be whatever particular person, your situation, because everybody's situation is different. However, whatever they pretended, whatever they faking a funk about, whatever that it is that they're trying to hide, you now see it. You now see them for who they truly are. You see them. You see them. You see the mask. You see through the mask. And even though this person is not articulating and telling you what they all about you already know it 
and you are not going to tie yourself back up into this 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 web because this is what this person wants to tie you back up in this web put you on the web and tie you there and bind you to control what you do what you say your happiness your money to tie you in on this web to bind you to them for their control their manipulation and their possession because what you hold inside of you the light I keep telling you and I'm gonna tell you each and every time until you understand the light that you hold into hold inside of you is just not just a mere light it's not just something that you just have and you possess it's very valuable it is so valuable that it's God the God in you that light is God that is why people are drawn to it and attracted to it and want it good or evil they're drawn to it it is God the God in you a piece of God that's in you that lives in you that dwells in you but it comes it don't come easy like everybody think I've already said it you have to pay a price it's a lot of suffering a lot of things unusual events that have happened in your life in order to test you to see if you will hold value to that light would you take care of that light or will you use it abuse it and a let and, and give it to the wrong people or possess it in the wrong way you had to be tested you had to be tried to see how would you handle this God like light that dwells in you okay somebody want to meet somebody want to come back somebody want to talk somebody wants your ear someone somebody wants you to listen somebody want to uh, uh, commune with you collab with you somebody want to talk to you and get your mind wrapped up in what they're saying somebody want to come in and manipulate you by using mind control by what they're saying because this particular person that you have cut off this particular person that you walked away from this particular person that you not dealing with now they have been studying you they have studied you they now know what to say and what to do concerning you they have studied you so much they if you if you are a youtuber if you are a blogger if you are a anybody any type of platform that watched your platform over and over and over and over again they in their mind when they come to make a decision or they come to have to uh, uh, come up with a way they they try to figure out what would you do and do things according to what they think that you would do that's how deep it is they are connected to you but you've cut the cord you're not connected to them but they're projecting they're projecting onto you their thoughts their opinions but it is up to you to guard it is up to you to possess your own energy to yourself to bind your energy to yourself it is up to you to be on watch it is up to you to protect on all levels all around you from this from this individual or these people because it could be very well a group of people we already know there is people places and things that's involved in this some of you is one person some of you is a group of people some of you is 
a lot of people, a lot of different people who don't even know each other, but they demons, their attachments, they know each other. So they all work together to come against you. But somebody is wanting to meet and conversate. They have studied you. They have uh, uh, come up with a, a plan to plot to get you to uh, to try to gain favor, to get in your good side, your good graces by apologizing. See, they want to come in and apologize. And they want to come in and be nice and sweet and humble and uh, uh, they want to come in and 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 where this person was once rough and where this person was once unforgiving and and tough and where this person was uh, uh once uh will cuss you out and 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 just talk to you any kind of way where they didn't have any value you 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 you, didn't, you were not valuable you you didn't mean anything. This person wants to come in and apologize and come in humble, come in full of love and come in full of thankful and gratitude because that's what you do. You're thankful and you're gra you full of gratitude and love for yourself. So they're trying to emulate what they see that you're doing to and do it to you. You got to use your discernment. You got to use your discernment. You got to use, uh, uh, you can't let people come back in the past with that, with that okie doke and foolishness. Now, I'm not saying everybody from the past that come up, come from the past don't have, uh, uh, that's, that's coming in wrong. You have to use your discernment, but you cannot accept people from the past. The past is your past. You could be friends, distant friends. Hey, you know, I forgive you. What happened in the past is the past. We're going to move forward. And I wish you well. You know, you could be friends from a distance. You know, you can hash it out and forgive each other and move on. But a, talking about a, a friendship, talking about a love, getting back together. No, no, no. You got to use your discernment. You've worked too hard to get to where you are. And people know that. And they studied you and plotted against you. And, and nothing has worked. So now they got to come to you. Physically come to you. Apologize. Get in your good graces. It says forgiveness through mutual understandings. They want to come in and ask for your forgiveness. Humble. Pretending. Some of them are pretending. Some of them are not. But even if they're not pretending, what could this person offer you? That's the past. You're no longer that individual. You no longer want whatever. You're not on that level. You no longer want whatever they're giving. You could be kind. You can be nice. Hey, I forgive you. You know, that's that's what happened. That's okay. But talking about reestablishing a relationship or reestablishing a friendship, no. No, I'm not, I no longer need that in my life. I no longer want that in my life. I'm looking for my soul tribe. I'm looking for my soul people, people that I'm, that's connected to me from my soul. I'm not trying to get, get back into a relationship with somebody that they're needy. I got to fix. I got to try to, uh, 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 fix them and, and teach them. And I'm not trying to get that. No, that's fine. If I need to teach and do all that, that's fine. That's not what I'm saying. But the past, you will have to teach. You will have to pour. You will have to really, really get deep down in that situation to help that person come up to your level. And that time is over. You've already established that time for them. They didn't want it. They were not interested at that time for when you was trying to teach and give them what they needed to get out of that ch childhood trauma, to get out of that childhood, to get, get out of that, that hurt and pain that was holding them back. That's what you came in, the, in, in their life to do, to help them get out of that. But they did not want to accept you. They, didn't, they wanted to be over you. They wanted to 
they wanted to be the top dog over you, but it wasn't about the top dog. They want they were power hungry. They wanted to be over you. They wanted to be the one. But you can't be the one until you are healed, till you're healthy, till you establish uh healthy boundaries, until you got your mind right, your spirit right, you cleaned up, you you looking good, smelling good, not on the outside, but on the inside. But until you establish that, until you establish that, you cannot be the top dog. So you have to learn from somebody else to get you out of that mess that you in. You didn't want to accept that you was in, a, in an unhealthy place and that you needed collective. You needed collective to get out of that. You didn't want to honor the collective. You didn't want to honor them. So, you misused, abused, and took, and abused, and neglected, and misused, and degraded the very person that was in your life to help you get out of the situation you was in, down in the dumps, hiding, faking the funk that everything was fine when it wasn't fine. It wasn't fine. So now that the person that was there to help you is gone, now you want to come back and, and, and reestablish a relationship to get that help that was available to you. But this person here is not going back. This energy right here not going back. I regret lying to you. This person lied to you. Not only did they lie to you, they lied about you. They gave you a mask. They wasn't even truthful and honest about who they was representing at the time. They lied about everything. They was wearing a mask. They lied about you, lied to you, lied all around you. Hiding who they truly are within themselves, hiding from themselves, hiding from you. Just lying. So this person want to come back and apologize because they know they lied to you so they want to meet up apologize and come back to you humbly for forgiveness and yes you forgive matter of fact this energy that i'm picking up you you have already forgiven this person you have forgiven this person so many times because this person keeps doing things they keep doing things spirit keep telling this person to stop spirit keeps sending the angels to warn the ancestors is warning this person to stop but they won't stop so you whoever i'm speaking to collective libra or cross watcher collective whoever i'm speaking to you keep having to forgive this person for continuously doing things behind your back so this person is already forgiven because whoever I'm talking to already know that forgiveness is a must for you to move forward. You can't hold and harbor resentment and think that you're getting ready to move forward. Spirit don't play that. Just like spirit forgives you for doing things, you got to forgive other people. It's not about you. It's about, I mean, the forgiveness is all about you it's not about the other person and what they did the forgiveness is for you for you to be able to let go be free not weighed down by what somebody did in the past the past it's the past your future is so much brighter than your past you have a wide open free ring to live your life you don't have to live your life with this person. You're not broken. You're not stuck. You're not abused. You're not neglected. You're not hurt. And if you are any of those things, you still need to let that stuff go because you have a, a, a brighter future ahead of you. Don't look back. Look forward. Let the past be the past and let it fall and roll off of your back and move forward. Have your eyes on the present have your eyes on the future don't put your eyes don't roll your eyes back to the past it ain't worth it so 
That goes along with people, places, and things from your past. You got to let it go. Because these people tried to sacrifice you. They tried to hurt you. They tried to kill you. They sent death spells. They sent demons. They did black magic. They did voodoo. They did evil eye. Everything that they can think of. They did those things to you. Because they wanted to put you on that web and to bind you. They were trying to bind you, to control you and manipulate you to be on that web. You be on that web, then they dictate what you do. They dictate what your happiness would be. They dictate how much money you have. They dictate who you love and what it is that your life is going to going to transpire to be the devil is a lie up in here you all got one life to live and no one has permission no devil no demon no principality satan nobody has the right or the permission to take your free will away from you Everybody has free will to make their own decisions for their own life because they came in this world by themselves. They going out of this world by themselves. The only way somebody could come in and take control and manipulate you over your life is if you give it to them. When you give somebody else control over your life and they manipulate, use, and abuse you, you gave it to them. And if you're in that situation, you need to take it back. It's not too late. It's not too late. You take your power back. You stand in your power. You start looking at your looking within, cleaning up that all that negative negative energy, the negative thoughts, those lies and belief systems that you believed all these many years about yourself. You let that mess go. Release that. And move forward and stand in your power. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth for your own self. It's only you. And only you can stand for you. Nobody else is going to stand for you. Nobody's going to love you more than you love yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. They've been attacking you. So they sacrificed you and attacked you all because they're trying to stop you and control and manipulate what comes in, what comes in for you, how your life transforms. They do not want you to be blessed, but it's too late. That's it, It's too late. You already blessed. You already a blessing. You already, what they're trying to prevent, you already that. You know why? Because of the light. They can never steal the light. And as long as you have the light, you are blessed. As long as you are you holding that light, you are blessed. Because God in you will always honor the person who is holding him, holding him within them. He will always honor that. And it doesn't matter what people, places, and things is saying and doing and thinking. You got to know for your know for yourself. You got to know what you know, know what you know. And you can't let people, places, and things deter or tell you who you are. You got to know and you got to be fully determined to step up and be who you are and be accountable for who you are. And don't let uh, let nobody come against who you know you're supposed to be, the light that's within you, you let no one, no one, stop, block that light because it is your everything. It is the God in you. It is who you are. And it's what's, it is your blessing. You will always be blessed when you hold that light. Right? Somebody's dimming their light. So spirit is saying, don't let nobody dull your shine. You are the real deal. Love yourself more. You need to love yourself more. You need to love yourself more. Somebody letting somebody dull, dull their shine, dull 
uh, make them feel less than, make them feel like um, you believe in the hype. That's what this is. You believe in what the what they're projecting onto you. You believe in it. You're taking it on, right? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, sir. Don't believe the hype. I said all of this in this reading for this particular person right here. You need to honor who you are, that light. If you don't want to believe you, believe in the light. Okay? Somebody want to just have sex. They want to meet up, come with you, try to have sex with you so they can control, put you back, put you on this web. They trying to control and manipulate you to put you on this web, how to bind you through sex. Sex is on the brain. I want to make love to you. Soul making sex that blows your mind. Oh, you are fine. And what this is, this is not no soul making sex. This is the, to, to, uh, uh, to cause a deep attachment. They're trying to bind you. They're trying to control you through sex. Sex magic. Trying to make the sex just mind blowing and where you'll be addicted and they can control you and manipulate you. Do not have sex with people from the past. That's trying to meet up and get you in the bed. That's a trap. They're trying to trap you. You rejected this person already. It says, I'm so afraid of rejection. You've already rejected this person. You rejected this person. You cut the cord. You cut the ties. And you have moved on. And because you have moved on, this person is trying to find a way back. They know that you guys had good sex in the past. If you didn't have sex with this person, this person knows that you wanted to have sex with them. It was a strong, a strong attraction, a strong thing between you and them. And they're trying to bank that you still want that. You still could be controlled. You still could be enticed. You still could be con uh, seduced because of the attraction that you have for them. Look, if that's the, still the thing, if, if you still... Can uh, you still have attraction for this person? You still think about that sex? You need to you need to heal that. You need to heal that because that person can come in and really work on you, and you'll find yourself in the bed with this person, and then you'll find yourself back on this web and back on this situation. So, Libra, this has been your reading. All right. Hit the comments. Let a sister know how she did. Hit the emojis. If it didn't resonate, uh, just know. Listen to the reading because it could resonate in the future. All right? So, look. Hit the emojis. Let a sister know that you're still working with it. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. <laughs> My hand. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just thumbs the channel. All right? So, it uh, helps a sister out. Uh, what else? Okay. So, share, share, share. Don't keep this information for yourself. Share on your websites. Share, okay? Subscribe. If you have not subscribed, it will behoove you to subscribe, okay? Because God, the God, the universe, uh, what you know, whomever you refer, okay, um, has me on a mission to pray to uh protect my subscribers but if you're not tapped in to me i can't tap into you so i'm touching agree with high vibe uh subscribers that we uh be able to be strong enough be able to be protected to be able to move forward in spite of these people and if you're not subscribed you just will not be included all right so it will behoove you to subscribe it don't cost no money but hey it, you can gain everything all right so if you're tacked in all right if you're here here for the first time go to the description box all of my information is there personal readings is still open uh, thank you guys for who uh, supported the special um that's why i'm late <laughs> i had to finish all my personal readings so thank you guys for all your positive feedback thank you thank you thank you all right so for those of you that uh social media is in the description box um um uh Hit, make sure you hit the notification um, bell because um, I'm going to try. I, I keep 
uh, spirit keep pushing me to try to do a live so i'm going to do a live and you will be able to know when i do that live if you hit the no notification bell all right or even when i'm just putting out a reading you will always be notified so hit that bell so you can always be notified and you won't be missed out sending love sending healing your way and trinity is out